the two most software for meetings and presentations that most companies are using are either Zoom or Microsoft Teams. They offer different things that you can uh, change your background and also share your screen to your coworkers for a presentation or meeting. But in this video, I'm going to show you a different software they call OBS Studio is a free software to download on your computer. And also you can use it to enhance your meetings, your camera, your sound for the next presentations or meetings that you're going to have. So in this video, we're going to be looking into how to add a camera, how to capture the display of your computer, how to create a scene, how to add your microphone and enhance, how to record your presentation, how to use a virtual camera to use with Zoom, Teams, you can use also to Skype or Discord and how to transform the program portable mode if you are using in a laptop or desktop or take with you anywhere on the world. Hi, my name is Rodrigo and welcome to another tutorial video here on the Roddy Bro Gamer channel. We're going to be starting to download OBS Studio. The link of this, uh, the website is going to be on the description below. So here in OBS Studio, you're going to go and download right here. You're going to click and download. And then you're going to go look for download zip because you're going to put it in a different place on your computer. You're not going to install it automatically. Make sure you go open over here and uh, show folder. And what you want to do, you're going to uh, extract all. And when you extract all in this folder right here, where you download. So this is the folder right here. So what you're going to do, you close it right here and you're going to uh, move that folder to your desktop. Once you move the folder right here to your desktop, uh, just open the folder. This is the three main folders for your OBS. Go ahead and open the folder of OBS. And if you wanted to uh, know where to uh, open OBS, you're going to go right here on this folder bin. Go to this folder 64 bit and scroll down and you're going to see right here OBS, the application. Just right click here and show more options and I create a shortcut. That way you should have that shortcut right here on your uh, desktop as well if in case you need it so what you wanted to do as well on this folder of this folder obs folder right here you wanted to create a new folder and this folder called assets for all the uh, assets that you wanted to use it any pictures videos anything for your presentation you put right into this folder as all together to OBS. So before we uh, start OBS, we're going to need to download the, the effect the plugin movie transition on OBS. So you go on Google, just write it down movie transition OBS. It will take you to this OBS project.com right here. You just click it. And over here, you see the movie transition 2.6.1 plugin for this tutorial. You're going to select download right here. And you're going to select the third one, which is zip file right here for Windows. If you're using Windows, uh, if you're using Mac OS, is, is going to be right here in the top. So download the file that's going to go, uh, you know, right down here. And you're going to open that folder and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go extract all and extract all in the same location. Just close down that and what you're going to do, move the folder to your desktop. Just double click on it. Uh, go over here on OBS plugins and go to 64 bit if you use a 64 bit in your computer. And what you're going to do, you're going to copy those two folders and you're going to down go here to your OBS and you're going to OBS plugins. You're going to 64 and you're going to paste right here. Okay. This is the, in your uh, OBS. I'm going to paste on the OBS that I'm going to be used for this tutorial, which is going to be OBS 28 beta. That's what I'm using for this tutorial. I'm going to go right here, OBS studio, the same thing, OBS plugins 64. And I'm going to paste inside right here to this folder, which is going to be move transition PDB and move transition DLL right here. And that's it. And then you close it and that is how the plugin. So after you download OBS Studio, you open up it for the first time and you're going to see just this plain OBS Studio without scenes or sources. So we're going to start 
by creating a profile you're gonna click on profile you're gonna click new and you're gonna just name me anything you want i'm gonna name zoom and teams profile right here and then you're gonna click ok and it's gonna ask you three different options for your set up your obs studio you uh the first one will be optimized for streaming and recording as a secondary optimized just for the recording I will not be streaming which is a second a second options and the third one will be i will only be using the virtual camera we're going to be using the virtual camera but I, I think is the best thing if you're going to use it only for teams and zoom but not streaming select the second one because you'll be able also to record your uh, meetings in a high quality and i think that's going to be much better here so you click next once you click next, you're going to choose right here uh, the, uh, the resolution of your computer. Mine is 1920 by 1080. And over here, FPS, I highly suggest 60 if you can. If you're not, just use it 30. The difference is the CPU usage on your computer. So if you have a computer that's not that old, you can go all the way to 16. It's fine. So you click next, just apply settings, and that's it so now we're going to be actually adding a camera so the first thing you're going to do over here on scenes just right click on that first scene they are already automatically there and rename just rename main camera and of course you can rename whatever you wanted to rename so first scene is going to be called main camera only because it's going to be only for the camera so we're going to add it in source you're going to add a source which is our camera which is your camera, what are you going to use? I'm well, gonna choose video capture device and I'm gonna call camera, you know, you can call whatever you want there too. Click OK and right here is already selecting my main camera that I wanna select it. So over here, there's several things that you can change. I, you know, you can leave it just the way it is if you're fine with Um, I'm not gonna change anything else over here. You can change the call space default everything but i'm gonna leave just that for this purpose of this video just like that so you're gonna click ok now the camera have a, an audio as well but i don't want that microphone okay you can use it the, the microphone from your camera if you want it but what i'm going to do to not be able to use it just gonna mute and i'm going to uh select uh my my, my i can select my microphone which you have to go over here and audio input capture and then you select in the over here you name uh, whatever you wanted to name and then you click ok you're gonna go to default you're gonna see which microphone are you using right now i'm using this microphone but yeah so you're gonna have uh, the camera if you want to use that microphone or a specific microphone just like this or a usb microphone as well so this is how you add microphone and camera now we're going to add a, a scene, a, a different scene that is only this light. What you can do on OBS, you can basically uh, create another scene. So we're going to create another scene. Okay. And then we're going to call slide. Slide only. Okay. Because it's going to be just a scene only to show the slides. Now you don't see my, uh, my camera because it went in a different scene, but we're going to add it right here on the bottom and uh are we going to select the image slideshow you click over here click ok and over here uh you wanted to select the slide mode manual and you want to scroll down all the way here and you're gonna edit the slides that you have if you create a uh, powerpoint or any another place and you download the slides to your computer that's where you're going to edit so i create some which is right here on desktop and i call presentation and that's all my slides that i wanted to uh, put it in obs so just highlight everything click open and it goes right here click ok and now you see that this light is right here on the scene so for you to actually make sure that it's, uh, cover all all the spaces this preview just right click click transform and go all the way down fit to screen and that's it and they basically just go all the way uh to the to the fill everything just click over here on the lock just to make sure you don't accidentally move back and right and over here you can see right here that uh, you can move it this lights just by pressing over here 
and also you can do this by by hotkey that i'll show you in a moment as well all right so the next scene we're going to edit is a uh, scene that is going to be this this light with our camera so we're going to click again here add a scene and we're going to call slide and camera okay then you're going to click ok and now you're going to do we're going to add a scene which is just that scene inside the source which is going to go over here in a plus sign and we're going to add a scene right here and then over here in the bottom they have existing scenes which is going to be those two that's right those right here that we created you're going to select camera you're going to select ok and there we go now you have a camera here as well but we're gonna put the camera and the slide together so we're going to go ahead first we're gonna you're gonna move this a little bit on the side just about right here and if you're gonna click on the uh in your computer out and then you're just gonna right here drag and you're gonna cut you can do whatever and how you want to do it just be creative i just giving an example here i'm just gonna cut here as well a little bit like that just to put my uh my camera on the side so i can put something else right here i'm going to give an example but you can create however you want it to create i'm going to put a background here so how will we do any background here you're going to the plus sign right here you're going to um to, to go to image okay and uh you can call image anything you want and you just click ok and then you're going to look for an image on your computer so i'm going to look for an image so i'm going to go to let me see if i remember is on the uh assets that now here i'm going to add just this scene right here just so that there we go and then click ok so i'm adding a scene if it's big like this too big or too small just remember just right click go all the way to transform and go all the way to fit screen to fit the screen that you want the way you want it and now what are you going to do so the camera is behind right here so for you to actually have the camera in the front of the screen you just have to go down here where they select and drag below the camera and there we go now you have both scenes like that so what you can do you can go ahead also now we're gonna put this light in the top of that so how we do this we're gonna edit another scene on the source we're gonna add another scene and you're gonna add this light only that we create click ok and now we have this light so the only thing you have to do is go in one of those corners just hold and drag smaller and just pull around we can pull around here that's fine anywhere you want it and there we go now we have the scene for the slides we have our camera and a background then if you wanted to add some text you can also add text over here if you want if you click on a plus sign right here there's also right here text if you click in text right here and you click ok you can basically put anything presenter i don't know something like that you can write anything and there we go you have a text right here you can go ahead and just like anywhere you wanna right here or here just give you an example what you can do to build your uh, scenes to making a presentation through obs to zoom and teams now we're going to be creating now another scene which is going to be the slide and a small part of our face which is the camera not like this but a little bit different so we're going to go over here again to the scenes you're gonna click create to add, the, add another scene and now you're gonna create a slide and small camera all right then you click ok it's gonna be all black like this because it's, we're gonna add stuff here so the first thing we're gonna add over here we're gonna add the scene that we have only our slide which is gonna be slide only you're gonna click here slide only click ok and that's our slide only again but now we're gonna add an, our camera but it's a little bit smaller than the one the previous scene so we're gonna go ahead and click plus we're gonna go ahead and add another scene and we're gonna use our main camera and click ok so now our main camera is in in, in, in the whole page but we're going to make that smaller so we just drag in the corners make it smaller 
let's go in uh, co uh, crop pressing out on our keyboard and just slide the way you can do how you prefer how you like it i'm just cropping just like that so we can put like a, in a corner like this so you continue have eye contact with your presentation with people that you're showing your presentation with the slide a little bit bigger and you know like that so that's one uh, idea so like that so we create basically four scenes we create a main camera like this we create just one with the slide there you can change the slides right here how many you want we create another scene that we have our camera and the slide next to us and then we create another scene that we have a basically a uh, camera uh, a small camera with uh with uh, this slide. now let's go back to the slide only scene right here and you can see that over here um we can actually change the scenes just by pressing uh forward or back right here but if you're going to the slide in camera scene right here you don't have that option so how we're going to make sure that we do this in that scene is to bind this to the computer keys and we're going to go by going to settings right here in the right bottom corner you're going to go to hot keys and then you're going to scroll all the way down until you find slide uh image of the slide show and over here you're going to click next uh the slide you just click right there and just press any key that you wanted to uh, bind to I press F7 for my for this tutorial and then F8 for me for previous key and then click apply click OK and now if I press those keys it changed right here in that scene as well we will change the main scene too um, just so you know you can do this for uh, to change in the other scene so after we done this now the transition for each scene right here as I'm changing right now is changing as a fade transitions so the transitions is right down here and we have a sum over here that first is the fade that we use it and cut so we're gonna add a, a, a different transition you're gonna click on a plus sign and you're gonna see here that's move swipe slide stinger fade to color and lumia will swipe so each one is a different type of transitions especially the lumia swipe they have a bunch of transitions inside there so if you want to edit this you're just going to click luma swipe and over here you click ok and you're going to see right here image you're going to see that's a bunch of different type of transition if you're going to click for example right here curtain and you want to preview this is how the transition uh will look like when you transition one scene to the other so there's a bunch of transition right here on this lumia swipe right here I click OK, but we're going to use the move transitions that we downloaded first on this tutorial. So to do that, you're going to click in the plus sign back again. You're going to go to move. And you're going to uh, click OK. Now, in this particular settings right here, this is why you need to do it. So we can make a very smooth transition with the camera and the scenes. Um, you're going to click all those boxes right here because it's going to have to match the name of the sources and then you're going to scroll down you're going to leave this section right here which you move match all this the as a default like that and then you're going to scroll down a little bit more you're going to see another section say move in you're going to only change the position to none and transition to fade if you scroll down more that's move out right here section you're gonna do the same thing on position you're gonna go and click select the position none and transition you're gonna click fade and you go all the way down and you're gonna click okay now if i change the scenes this is how it's changing okay it's changing just like that like this but it's too quickly so how you want to fix this so over here and durations right here under scene transition i like to use it around 700 i mean actually i wanted to use 800 milliseconds now it changed a little bit more smooth as you can see it changed the camera just the way you want it however if you notice that is a, a stagger a little bit you see right here main camera to this camera to this scene 
and then the sliding camera did you see that it's a little bit stuck over here so the reason why this happened is because it needs to match a source with the same name of the scene so right here if you go into slide only you see right here in the source say image slideshow right so make sure you go over here rename you rename it slide only small okay and click right here so now when you're gonna switch to the other scene see that's not happened that again like uh, it is happening a little bit here because of course it's going under but if you notice it's much better than before so right now we create this basically a scene the first scene for the camera the second one only for the slide that you can change on the uh on the key and also the second scene they also you can change on the your keyboard keys and then the third scene that you can see right here with your little camera now to send all this to zoom and teams you're going to have to go over here in the corner um right here and click start virtual camera that means that you're going to tell obs to pick it up all in the that is in this screen preview and transform as a webcam to zoom or teams or any another application for meetings so what are you going to do now you're going to open zoom like i'm open right now zoom and i'm going to go right here into my logo and i go to settings in settings you're going to go all the way to video and right here i already selected obs virtual camera you can select different cameras but you're gonna have looking for obs virtual camera once you click it this is exactly the camera that you actually transmitted from obs so if you change an obs scene you can see that it changes all together on the camera so you can make your meetings and presentations more dynamic now if you wanted to use your microphone to enhance on the meetings uh you don't want to put your microphone on obs because obs is going to send only the virtual camera to the meeting so you wanted to enhance before get into the zoom or teams and that the only way to do that i have a video right in the top of here that you can use a program called sonar for steel series that you can equalize your microphone in that program that is absolutely free and actually you're gonna select the, the uh, output from that program software to your teams and zoom so in this case right here on zoom if you're going to audio you're going to select it right here on the uh you're going to select it right here on the microphone but you're going to have an option right here to select sonar microphone that's why you wanted to use it to uh have all the equalization from that program to your meeting now if you wanted to capture a powerpoint that is on your website let's say if this powerpoint is uh uh, in a website that you already create but you want to just capture the website and from there just uh, use the transitions on powerpoint to your presentation on obs that goes to zoom you can do it by actually going let's go pick it up a scene right here which is a slide and camera this scene right here and you're gonna go right here and the plus sign right here you're gonna click a plus you're gonna go and choose window capture okay you click your window capture you can rename it just click ok and now it's gonna capture anything that's open your computer right now it's open it's capturing my google chrome which i already have a uh, just a, a sample right there uh powerpoint that's open so you click ok so right now it's capturing my uh google chrome so now if you wanted to make sure if you wanted to use this as your powerpoint to present you wanted to actually crop some places over here like in the top for example you're gonna um, press alt and just drag it down a little bit so it doesn't so nothing really shows over here you can just show this part right here of your presentation uh or this part right here uh or right here if you want to just present this right here for anyone to see and then you can just you know shrink down a little bit and i put it in the same place where you want right here um just like that uh you can actually over here on the um 
on the uh, OBS. And uh, for example, if you don't want the one in the back and the bottle right here, you can just click this light only like that to actually hide. And then you can move this right here in the same position. And then you can just use the uh, slides on the uh, the PowerPoint so you can go ahead and um, uh, present that way too. Now, if you wanted to record everything that you're presenting on Zoom for your meetings and also Teams over here in OBS, it's very simple. You just have to click here, start recording, and it will be recording until you click back again to stop recording. But are we gonna have to uh, change some settings before start playing the recording which we gotta go right here on settings and you're gonna go right here on the output and over here now in the recording section you want to select right here uh high quality medium size files that's what you wanted to do it the high quality and right here recording file i suggest to change it to mp4 because it's very um uh, common to share that file if you needed to edit it or something like that. I suggest to put MP4 right here. The encoder is going to be if you have a, a, a any sync which is NVIDIA GPU, you can use that right here. But whatever it says over here for your record, just leave it the way it is. You don't have to play around unless you know it. And then just click apply, click OK, and that's it. Now, one cool thing about all this is if you want to make all this program and this actually program that you put in your computer portable, so you can actually put it on your uh, thumb drive and uh, take it with you another computer and use that on another computer. It's very simple. The only thing you got to do, you got to go right here on the uh, the folder that we download. Remember, we put it on a desktop. You just double click and then you're going to go uh, right here in this space. You're going to right click and you we're going to add a, a uh, text document. You click on text document right here and you're going to write it down. OBS underline horrible underline mode. That's it. When you do this, you're basically making this program portable. And uh, as you can see right here, the assets where, that we created, you can put all your uh, PowerPoints project inside over here. And then one only thing you gotta do is in this folder right here that we create right here on the uh, desktop you just put in this in, this in a thumb drive and I take it with you and you can use it in any computer how you know that you actually using portable when you open obs i'm gonna open again obs here that we were work on it um we're gonna open obs again and you're gonna notice over here in the top of the obs right here they say OBS beta, of course, this is the one that I'm using for this tutorial and it's a portable mode. When you got this basically means that you are running in portable mode, this program, and you can use this anywhere that you need to use it. So I hope this video helped you. And if it did, don't forget to hit the like here. And also thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And I'll see you on the next video.